All right, so this is the second video to the mind reading question video because I had an insight um, and I apologize if I offended all you mind readers out there. This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And this is Kathy Vartuli from the intimacydojo.com. Um, so the eroticness or the turn on of dating somebody who can magically knows what you need and what mm -hmm. you want, um, that I think is your cat when it comes to romance. They're thinking of you. And they're being able to guess or read your mind and anticipate your needs lands on you as, as romantic and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And and then the romanticizing of the fact that of somebody who knows you so well mm -hmm. can just, you don't have to use your words, they just know. Um, which, there's a lot of... We're taught that. We're there's taught a lot that. of mythology, right? If they really loved us, they would they just would know, know what we need. Right? Yeah. And the thing is, I'm telling... And again, I'm just going to burst the bubble here. If, if they really loved you and they watched all of these videos, they would know to, to, to role model for you that it's okay for you to figure out what you need and to ask. And they would role model it by figuring out what they need <clears throat> and, and asking. If and when you just happen to guess right, um, sometimes I don't know that, that that's what they needed. Mm -hmm. It was thoughtfulness that landed on them. Or luck. Or luck, right? You didn't need flowers. You're just like, oh my God, how did you know mm -hmm. I needed to feel loved? Mm -hmm. and, it's a, and it's a cat thing. Yeah. That's, that was my insight on, on that piece around, around mind reading. And it's really hot when people are in tune with you. Mm -hmm. And you guys drop into a connected flow. But again, I'm going to argue that when you're in that flow, there's like eight or ten things they could do mm -hmm. that are going to feel great. Yeah. Um, they just, whatever one they picked, your mind is like, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> well, I think you talk about dating your species. Mm -hmm. And I think when there, there can be a time, there can be people that are a really good fit for what they want to give is what you want to receive and vice versa. But the idea of finding someone where that's a perfect match all the time is just, it doesn't happen. That's fantasy. Yeah. And while, while fantasy is hot, um, to get angry at somebody for not meeting your fantasy needs means you are not in reality. How come you didn't, you didn't know to bring me flowers? Because you didn't ask. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> but that's not really romantic. Well, maybe if you asked enough times, I would start to get into my thick skull. Wow, like you really like flowers. Mm. Or or something else. But to get angry that they never caught on all those hints that you had about flowers. This doesn't work. No. And in my opinion, like it just doesn't work. You're gonna you're gonna get resentful and and that's gonna backfire. That's not what you're actually trying to create. And sometimes by asking, you realize, wow, like even when I ask, you you're horrible at this or you don't want to do that. Um, and then that brings up this other conversation that some people aren't willing to change um, or grow or maybe you're in the wrong relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I do think on a very subconscious level, sometimes we don't speak up because we're afraid of removing all the excuses mm -hmm. and that we might actually have to get real and realize that we're in the wrong relationship or whatever, yada, yada, yada. But it's also important, like you said, about digging down to what's the need underneath. Mm -hmm. So if you need your partner to bring flowers and that's just not gifts or whatever is not hit that person's expression, well, if you need to feel loved, how else could you feel loved? Mm -hmm. And there might be ways to for that feel really natural for that person to express it. Mm -hmm. And so reading the book, The Five Love Languages yeah, by Gary Chapman, book. really helpful and useful. Um, and just getting really clear that, you know, what are the needs you're trying to get met? Is it really about flowers? If it's really about flowers, then buy flowers. Or date a florist. Or date a florist. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Problem solved. That's Here, good. Honey, See? They were going to go bad anyway. I'm leaving you for a florist. <laughs> but like that's the thing is like we can joke about it because yeah. when you get when you get right down to it, what's actually bothering you? Yeah. Um, and then can you have that conversation in your relationships? Yeah. Which again, if, if you're expecting the other person to know what's bothering you... It doesn't work. 
because they are a mind reader or something. Like, it's just not working. Yeah, and if you want your life to feel more beautiful because you love flowers around, mm -hmm. you can buy them for yourself or find a friend that loves to exchange them too. Mm -hmm. If that's not the source. Yeah, make friends with the florist. Make, make friends with the florist. Um, and again, we're just using flowers as an example. We're both being a little bit jackassy around this. Um, <laughs> Relationship10x.com has some free relationship really videos stuff. that can be really helpful. Um, it's one of my projects, so check that out. And leave some comments below. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to, I didn't want to, I kind of poo pooed on the other video, like mind reading. And again, like I know everyone has lots of different beliefs and whatnot. But when you look at it from what actually makes relationships work mm -hmm. and what most people's skill sets are, regardless of whether you believe in mind reading or not, finding words and self-awareness and, and being able to communicate, that just builds better relationships. Mm -hmm. And then you can add whatever other you know, belief systems you want on top of that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank Comments. You. Bye.